nets and cubes. So this is spatial reasoning. You can get this in the Kent exam. Um, you're going to get that in the Kent exam more often than the Bexley exam. But let's get straight into it. What you're going to usually be asked to do is either fold up a net uh, into a cube. So they're going to give you a few options of a cube and you have to choose which one is the net. Um, or it might give you a cube and ask you to unfold it and choose one of the options. So you can get either way. We've got a system here that we use. Um, so the mnemonic is more, M-O-R-E. This is the steps that we all use. So match, opposites, rotation, and edge. If we look at what match is, we want to first match that the patterns on the net match with the patterns on the cube. So for example, this is a very easy way to cancel out or eliminate any options. There is, if this is one of the options that you're given and you see that this is a black arrow, right? Look at your own net. There is not a single black arrow on here. So we know it cannot be that. Same idea with this X shape. It doesn't exist on this net. That way we've cancelled something out using the match principle. If we look at now the opposites with the opposites principle anywhere, these are the, these are the places that you'll get opposites, right? So if you look at uh, top position, one square away is another position, right? So A and A. These two will always have to be opposites on the cube, so you can see where it's highlighted on the cube. Um, B and B are always going to have to be opposites on the cube. C and C are always going to have to be opposites on the cube. And um, basically, if anything is like one box away, which is all shown here, that means it's going to be opposite. Because if you think about it, this is the box that's in between it, and they're obviously these are going to be opposite each other. So you can also map it out like this and you can see the colors here that should help you visualize it but yeah if you look at this these two arrows have to be opposite right so if they give you a cube option where the arrows are not opposite but next to each other it cannot be that same idea with the circle same idea with the lines rotation is the next principle that you want to use so make sure that your images are rotated and facing the right way up uh, if you're looking at for example the net of this the net is pointing the arrow is pointing down when you fold the cube up, if you, if you imagine this section folding upwards and then this section folding onto that, the arrow will have to face upwards. If you can't imagine that, um, you should probably try with one of those paper cubes or make your own cube um, and imagine it, right? And, and do it in real life. But you can see if you fold this up, this is obviously going to be the base. And then if you fold that up one from there, that's going to be pointing up. And so if it's not rotated the right way, then again, that's another way to uh, cancel it out. So you can see breaking the orientation rule. Um, there's a few ways, for example, that you can break the orientation rule. So you can see the line here is always oriented or rotated in a way that it is actually pointing towards these two circles. Now here, the line is pointing towards this arrow, meaning it cannot be that same idea here where the triangle if you imagine folding it um, if you imagine folding C it will have to point towards this circle because if you fold B as well um, C will be right next to B and C will be right next to B so the arrow always has to point next point towards the circle but you can see here it's pointing towards the line which is again breaking the orientation rule so that explains that and the final option is edges that you want to use. This is, again, you're using all of these options or these principles to eliminate options. And that's, what, that's how you can figure out which the right cube is. So edges, if you, you want to check that the edges match. So uh, it's quite similar to orientation. Uh, if, for example, um, the arrow is, arrow is pointing to triangle, right? You can look at this edge arrow is pointing to, to sorry, white circle. Uh, if you fold it, it has to point towards the white circle. If it's pointing towards anything else, it's wrong. Same idea with uh, this. I like to think about it is the base of the triangle has to be right next to the circle. If the base is next to, for example, something, anything, anything else like the X, then there is something going on, something wrong. Um, so that's the same idea as the orientation rule, but um, just a bit more specific. Uh, okay, example question now. This is sort of what it will look like in the exam. They'll give you a net on the left side, and then they'll give you five options um, as to which one is actually 
the right one. So they could actually ask it in a few different ways. They might say which of these net which of these cubes is is the same as the net. Or they might say which of these cubes is not the same as the net, meaning they'll give you four cubes that are from the net but one that isn't. So you have to make sure you read the question carefully. This one is actually asking you to um, match the correct net and that's the same with all of all of the questions in our book or in our app. Um, so always match the net in these books. Um, if we continue on from here, let's start with the more principles. So match. Uh, is there anything here that isn't matching? Right? Are there any of the um, cubes here that I just have a complete uh, I don't see anything here so we can't use that uh, so we can't eliminate any options as you can see here now let's check for opposites so you can see here this is how we've drawn out so black circle has to be opposite to the smiley face right now look at B it is an opposite so we have we can cancel that out so and what else can we look at so it looks like black and and the sh shaded circles that should be opposite each other you can see here um, and that these aren't opposite each other they're actually next to each other on this so we can cancel that out as well so B and D we've eliminated uh, now let's check for rotation uh, let's look at which way the triangle is oriented so if we look over here the triangle the right angle is actually so let's say the base of the triangle I like to think of the base the base of the triangle is pointing downwards the same way the smiley face is right so the chin of the smiley face should be pointing the same direction of the base. Now, that's not a good way to describe it. How I should probably describe it is the left right side of the face should be next to this this uh, hypotenuse of the triangle, right? Um, so if we look at this the face, right, it's not actually next to this. It should be on the side. It should be around here, I think, or around the other side. Uh, really, it won't work either way, but the fact that it's above the triangle means that it cannot be C. And I think we cancel that out. It looks like we have to cancel out E as well. If we look at where, yeah, you can see that the tip of the triangle or the base, again, uh, this base, the black uh, square should be below it. So that means it should be actually at the bottom of this cube rather than at the top. So it can't be that. And now what we actually left with, we're actually left with A straight away from that. We don't even have to use any other principles. Um, but yeah, that's the answer to that. Some top tips here, uh, just visualizing the process. But yeah, this is, again, very useful. So there's different ways they can give you the net. So this is the one that we're most used to, but this is the same idea. They can give all of these different variations. And if you look at it, you're basically doing the same thing. You're folding one as these two will be the sides, so they're opposite each other and then this number three folds downwards as the other side and this three will fold that way and two and two will actually be the top and the bottom of the cube here and same idea with this maybe I can pull up a cube simulator so here we go let's have a look at this this is this example right if we look at this is the same so how is it gonna fold up you can see it now how it's folding up right so that's how it that's how it does right and if we look at another example, for example, this one, so it's like this. Let's look at any of them. Do they have one here? I don't think it has one, but this one is this one is this example. So if we show that, how it's folding up, you can see how it does. So if you want, you can come to this website and like imagine the different ways. Um, this is the, the usual one that we have. So if you fold that up, you can see it. Sorry, it looks like I glitched out. Um, but yeah same idea with this one um, make a cube no it won't make a cube if you look at it if you look at it folding it will actually um, have a gap there um, with this one I'm pretty sure it would there you go so that's another one that you can get like a t-shape uh, this is actually a pretty useful exercise for you to do um, for you to figure out and understand how some cubes so imagine this one for example if you fold this up, fold this up, fold this up, this will actually come as the side and this will come at the, as the top. So that should turn out into a cube. So you can see that right there. It's turned into a cube. So that's really useful to understand these different nets and how they would fold. Uh, I'll do one quick question before we end off that video. Um, so triangle uh, should be pointing up towards the circle, which is perfect. 
but the lines, right, they should actually be on the right. So if you fold these, the lines should be on the right and the black. So this should be black right here. So it can't be B. If we continue on, um, this, these have to be opposites because they're one space away from each other, so it can't be C. Same idea with, let's see, circle. If we fold this, this does work, I think. So D, D does seem to work so far. I'm trying to fold it in my head. Okay, so that is quite difficult. With A, it looks like what you will have to do is you have to think about it from the top. So if you manage this, right, the triangle is coming around, or the bottom diamond is coming around to the top, and then the black one is folding to the side. And that definitely does work. So A definitely works. I'm pretty sure that would be right. So how I'm imagining that is basically you just imagine this folding all the way up and then where the black one would f would solve. Uh, I'm just going to have a look at the other two options to see if they actually do match. So that would work again, uh, but this is the exact same as A, but it's got the lines again on the wrong side. It's got the lines on the left side when the lines would actually have to be on the right of this circle and this diamond. So it can't be D. And same idea for this. Uh, if we look at the diamond, this would fold. Uh, so this would come out. So that yeah, it would it would fold here. This is where it would be. The triangle would be behind it, and the black would be here. So you can see actually, yeah, from that these two actually should be opposites um, because there's a gap here, and these two are the same. So that's a quick way to eliminate E, which I should have done earlier. Uh, but that gives us with option A. So hopefully you can get the rest of the questions in the book yourself. There are explanations at the back of the book. If you need help on odd one out, I'll leave the uh, end screen card for the odd one out video on there. Um, but we've got all of the videos, all 12 question types uh, on the channel now. And uh, yeah, just watch any of them if you get stuck on any question type.